The first part of the operation is to remove the front cover. There are four bolts and they're very simple just to take off. Now the cover has been removed, the next step is to take out the original Hitachi alternator. Here we go. To start with we just loosen off the bolt that's on the top, which is on the adjustment arm. Take the bolt right out. And now at the bottom, there are two bolts that hold the alternator in. And all we simply do is loosen them to begin with, and then take the bolts completely out together, making sure you hold the alternator up and it doesn't slip out. Now wiggle the alternator so we can release the belt. The, we've removed it. And the belt's on. First one unplugs. Second one. Okay. Now that's how simple it is to remove the original alternator. Now you have disconnected the existing alternator cables, mark them with tape for ease of identification. Keep your engine manuals close at all times to help reference wiring diagrams. The first wire you see here is the black or ground, which goes to the ground connection on the new alternator. Next we connect your current sense wire, which in this case on this engine is red, to the positive post on the back of the new alternator. In addition, the red sense wire from the plug in the alternator is also loop browned and attached to the same positive post. Connect the purple wire to your current ignition wire. The grey wire is connected to your tachometer if applicable. Lastly, the fourth brown wire out of the plug is for a warning light, again only if applicable if you have one. This information is, can be found on our website under manuals and specs in a PDF format. If at any time you are not sure or have doubts about specific details pertaining to our wiring configuration, call our toll-free technical support line for advice and further clarification. Be aware, analyzing these types of situations over the telephone is extremely difficult, so you may be asked to email photographs or other information to help expedite our response. We always advocate you engage a marine installation professional if you have the slightest doubts in your ability to accomplish this task. For boat owners and marine installation professionals who require an exterior multi-stage smart regulator, we have introduced the Electromax SMR12. The SMR12 regulates the energy to the batteries in small increments that protect the engine, batteries and alternator. We recommend you install our SMR12 with any alternator generator over 100 amps, especially if you have a very small horsepower engine. It needs to be installed somewhere close to the engine, preferably in a spot where you can see the four LED lights. The harness from the SMR12 is wired directly to the alternator plug in the following way. The purple wire in the harness is the ignition. Make sure that this gets attached to your existing ignition wire. The red wire goes to the battery positive post or the positive post on the alternator. If you have a battery isolator in your system then the red wire is attached to the isolator's positive post. The white with black tracer wire is for the tack in. Connect this to the grey wire on the alternator plug using the male and female connectors provided. The yellow or field wire is connected to the purple wire on the alternator plug. Tack out is the grey wire. Connect this to your existing tack wire if applicable. The black wire is the ground and is connected to your boat's current ground. The orange wire is to detect under voltage and is connected only if you have this type of device on board. For those who do have a battery isolated, we supply an axial diode that connects 
from your ignition wire to the positive post on the back of the alternator. Mm -hmm.